Hi everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens. Today I am here with my Spookathon TBR. Let's jump right into it. Spookathon is a readathon hosted by Kayla from over at Books and Lala, and it is running from October 14th to the 20th. And I will be vlogging that experience. I will not be daily vlogging it. I will have a week long vlog. So when you see this, it is 7 o'clock EST, the day that the readathon starts. Plenty of time for you to still join in. I'm going to go over the challenges and what I'm reading for everything. I will have Lala's channel listed down below, as well as all the information for the readathon if you still want to build a TBR and join us. I have been reading exclusively spooky things for this month anyway. So these are books that were not on my original TBR that I am still hoping to get to during this week of Spookathon that I think are going to be fast. I specifically crafted this readathon TBR so that I could like roll through these books, hopefully have a really successful week, maybe even fit in some of the books from my other TBR. So we're gonna see. The challenges really are not difficult and she really makes it so that everybody can join. The first one is just to read a thriller. I will be reading Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I met Riley at BEA and uh, had this signed and personalized. I never got to it before the release date and I know that it's mixed. I think Kayla gave this five stars. A couple of my other friends have given it three stars. It's kind of like one of those hit or miss. I don't know if I'm gonna love it or if I'm gonna like meh it but I think I'm gonna enjoy it regardless. This one was actually voted on by my Patreon supporters. They had the option to pick one of my other books for this TBR, and this is the one that they settled on. I really kind of wanted them to settle on the graphic novel. They did not. I might still try to squeeze the graphic novel into this readathon though, if I can. But uh, Lock Every Door by Riley Sager is my, my thriller. So that's gonna happen. Then we have a book with red on the cover and I will be reading The Hollow Girl by Hilary Monaghan. This one I believe is about a girl who is a witch or knows a witch and then she is I believe sexually assaulted by some boys and her and another girl and that girl is like near death and to bring that girl back from death's door she needs these ingredients for this like spell. She's gonna take them from the boys that hurt them. Um, I'm really interested in this. This is one that's been recommended to me over and over again. I found this one at Book Outlet and I couldn't resist it. It's short and I think it's going to make for a really compelling read. Then we have a book with a spooky word in the title and I will be going with Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab. This is the sequel companion to City of Ghosts. This is a middle grade series about a girl whose parents are ghost hunters and this one is in Paris. I'm really excited about this. I'm using uh, bones as my spooky word. And we're going to see how this one is. I believe there's also an audiobook for this on Hoopla. I might listen to it to help me through a little bit of the week. But I really enjoyed the first book. And I have a feeling I'm going to really enjoy this one as well. This one was from Mel, from Mel to the Annie, for my birthday. And I want to make sure that I get to it soon. The next one is to read a book with a spooky setting. And I can't think of anything spookier than The Haunting of Hill House which is literally about a haunted house. The setting of this is gonna be terrifying. We got this in our owl crate for September and I am really nervous because I've heard even from people that read horror and thrillers that this is terrifying. It's very small. Um, I'm nervous. I'm gonna look for an audiobook. I think the audiobook might be even more horrifying than the physical book, but I don't know. I'm nervous, but I don't think there's a spookier setting than this one. If I need to, I can double up with like Tunnel of Bones because I do have more books on this than challenges. So if this gets too scary, I might put it down, but this is going to count for my like spooky setting. And this one is by Shirley Jackson. Then we have read a book that you wouldn't normally read. And I have two for that. Both are middle grade thrillers. I don't read thrillers and I don't read middle grade that often, despite the fact that Tunnel of Bones is also on this TBR. But I have The Forgotten Girl by India Hill Brown. This is an arc that comes out in on November 5th. I really want to get to. I believe this is about a girl who is uncovered at a cemetery. Like they stumble across something and then they dig down and there's like a child in the dirt, I think. Yeah, she's making a snow angel only to find the crumbling gravestone of a young girl named Avery Moore. Then strange things starts to happen to her, like having vivid nightmares, seeing the shadow of a girl lurking in the night, feeling herself pulled back to the abandoned grave and calling her back to the woods. It sounds terrifying for a middle grade. I'm sure it actually will be. I'm a big baby. 
Then we have Small Spaces by Catherine Arden, who also wrote The Bear and the Nightingale. This one was gifted to me by Kayla over at Literature Reads, and she said that this one is the book that most represents her and, and that she most closely identifies with, and I've been really wanting to read it since then. I just have never gotten to it, which is just a shame, but this is the time. Again, a short middle grade book that I think I'm going to really enjoy, and I've been kind of saving. There are like spooky things in this field, this like scarecrow, and then there's like more figures in this cornfield. I grew up with a summer home in the mountains, guys, and this creeps me out, but I like it and I'm here for it. So there are only five challenges, but I do have six books on my TBR. Again, I have three middle grade. All of them are relatively short. Lock Every Door is the longest, but I feel like I'm gonna be able to get through these hopefully pretty easily. I'm gonna check out um, audiobooks of any of these that I can because audiobooks have been really flying for me. But these are all kind of spooky reads that I've really, really been wanting to get to that I'm really excited to have the chance to get to. So look out for a week-long reading vlog for Spookathon. Let me know in a comment down below if you're participating and which book you think you're going to be starting with. This is going up the day that the Spookathon starts and I don't know what I'm starting with yet. So if you have an opinion on which one I should start with, go ahead and leave it in a comment. And if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I'll see all of you in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.